Hey everyone, and welcome back for another deep dive. Today, uh, we're going to be looking at Dyadic International. Oh, cool. They're this biotech company with like a really ambitious goal. Yeah. Making proteins for world health. They're doing some really cool things with protein production that like could change how we make vaccines and antibodies, mm -hmm. even alternative proteins. Interesting. We're basing all this on their investor presentation, which has a ton of info. Okay. Yeah. Dyadic is doing some really interesting work. Yeah. What I think is really cool is how they're trying to fix this problem that's been around for like forever in medicine and science. Yeah. Making high quality proteins affordably and efficiently. Right. Their tech uses the special yeast platform to make proteins cheaper, faster, and more sustainably than the old ways. So. Okay, I get that proteins are important, but like, why is how we make them such a big deal? Well, just think about it. Proteins are like the workers in our bodies and tons of medical treatments, yeah. but making them has always been so expensive and sometimes even risky. Like albumin, which is used in a bunch of medical treatments, it used to be sourced from animals. Right. But that could mean contamination, you know, oh, yeah. or even ethical problems. Sure. But dyadics tech avoids all that mm. by making what's called recombinant albumin. Okay. It's basically made in a lab, so it's super clean and safe. That makes sense. And you can make a lot of it. So it's like a cleaner, better version of these essential ingredients. Exactly. You said that this isn't just about albumin, right? Yeah. There's more. Dyadic's using this tech in like three main areas, and they could all have a huge impact. Okay, let's hear about these areas. So first there's human health. Okay. They're developing vaccines and antibodies and tools for medical research. Right. Imagine a world where treatments for like the flu... COVID, even cancer, hmm. are way cheaper and work better. Wow, that would be incredible. Right. Okay, what about the other areas? The second one is animal health. Okay. They're working on vaccines for livestock and pets that are safer and cheaper. This could be huge, not just for the animals, but also for like how we get our food. So healthier animals and a safer food supply. Exactly. Got it. What's that third area you mentioned? This one you might find interesting. Okay. It's alternative proteins. Oh, yeah. I'm always interested in that. Dyotics tech could actually be used to make the ingredients for lab-grown meat. Whoa, hold on. Making it cheaper and easier to get. Lab-grown meat. So you're saying we could eat burgers without you know, all the problems of factory farming. Potentially, yeah. I want to hear more about that, but first let's back up a bit. What makes Dyadic's tech so special? You said something about a C1 platform before. Right. The C1 platform, that's their big innovation. Right. It's this unique yeast-based platform that lets them make super complex proteins that are a lot like the ones found in humans. Okay. That's super important for stuff like vaccines and antibodies to work. So they've got this yeast thing that makes really effective proteins. But is it that much better than what we have now? Let me put it this way. The C1 platform is like 300 times more productive than older methods. Wow, 300 times. Yeah. Think about how long it takes to make a new vaccine. Yeah. Dyadics Tech could speed that up a ton. Really? We could get life-saving treatments way faster. That's amazing. And maybe they'd even cost less in the long run. So what kinds of products are they working on right now? Their pipeline is really something. They've got vaccines for things like bird flu and mpox. Ah. They're also working on the stuff you need to make mRNA vaccines. Which are getting more and more important these days. Exactly. So they're working on a lot of different things at the same time. Mm -hmm not just focusing on one disease or treatment. Yeah, they're tackling a lot of challenges all at once. That's a good strategy. And another thing that's different about Dyadic is how they make money. Oh, how's that? They're not just betting on one thing. What do you mean? They're making their own products, okay. but they're also working with other companies and letting them use their technology. Oh, so they're licensing it out. Exactly. Yeah. It's really smart because it gives them different ways to make money, which is good for their business and for their goal of making these important proteins more available. That's great. So you mentioned earlier that their recombinant proteins are better than the traditional methods, especially those that use animal products. Yeah. Can you explain that a little more? One of the biggest advantages is safety. Okay. With recombinant proteins, you don't have to worry about getting diseases that can be in animal products. Right. Plus they're designed to be more specific so you get fewer side effects. Fewer side effects, I like uh -huh. the sound of that. Tell me more. Okay, another good thing is that they're more stable they're better with heat, and they last longer. Mm. This is great for shipping and storing, especially in places that don't have a lot of infrastructure. Right. And it could mean we need fewer booster shots, which would be a big deal for vaccinating people around the world. That's amazing. 
Safer treatments that work better, last longer, and maybe even cost less. Sign me up. I know, it's pretty exciting stuff. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's look more closely at how these recombinant proteins compared to the traditional ones. Right. I think there's a chart in their presentation that does that. Yeah, they have a comparison chart that really lays out the advantages. Cool. Let's break that down for our listeners. Yeah, let's do it. But first, we need to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more on Biotic International and their incredible work in protein production. Do you want a deep dive podcast like this? Contact Bull Run by Charlie Devanzo. All right, so we're back, and we were talking about this in comparison chart. Yeah. That shows how much better recombinant proteins are compared to the old school ways of doing things. Right. Especially the ones that use like animal sources. Right. What are some of the things that really stand out to you in that chart? Well, it really makes it clear, like you said, how much safer they are. Uh huh. Like there's way less risk of spreading diseases with these recombinant proteins. Makes sense. Because they're made in a lab. You know, everything's all controlled, so you don't have to worry about contamination like you do with animal products. Yeah, that's a big deal these days. It is. We've all learned about those zoonotic diseases the hard way. Exactly. So that's a big one. And then the chart also talks about how targeted these proteins are. Okay, yeah, what does that mean exactly? Well, it means they're designed to be like super precise. Uh huh. So they do their job really well without hitting other stuff. So fewer side effects. Exactly, which is always a good thing, right? Absolutely. Right. Okay, anything else that stands out from that chart? Yeah, the stability, hmm. like we talked about before, rec recombinant proteins are way more stable. They handle heat better and they last longer. Right. This is huge for like shipping and storing them, especially in places that don't have the best infrastructure. I can see that. Plus it could mean fewer booster shots, which would be a game changer for getting everyone vaccinated. Lower costs easier storage, and maybe fewer trips to the doctor for those booster shots. Sounds pretty amazing. It's pretty revolutionary stuff. It really it? is. Safer treatments that work better, last longer, and potentially cost less. It's like the future of medicine. It really could be. Especially for folks in developing countries or places where it's hard to get good medical care. Yeah, this could really help level the playing field when it comes to healthcare around the world. That's a really powerful thought. Mm -hmm. So we've been talking about the big picture, but I know Dyadics is also doing some really cool work on a smaller scale. Oh, yeah. Really digging deep into the science of proteins. Did you get a chance to look at their work with proteases? Yeah, I did. I was reading about that in the appendix of their presentation. Yeah, that's some really fascinating stuff. It seems like there's this whole other level to what they're doing that most people probably don't even realize. It really shows how broad their platform is. Yeah. And how much they know about science. For those of us who aren't scientists, can you explain what proteases are? Sure. Proteases are a type of enzyme. Okay. And they're super important in a bunch of biological processes. Mm -hmm. Dyadic has already found over a hundred proteases oh. that could be used for things like diagnosing diseases, doing research, and even treating people. So they're not just making proteins better, but they're also finding new ones and figuring out how to use them. Exactly. It's like they're exploring this whole world of proteins and finding all these hidden treasures. And that's not all. They're always looking for ways to grow and expand. Oh yeah, definitely. They're not just resting on their laurels. What are some of the things they're doing to move forward? Well, one thing is licensing out their platform. Uh huh. So other companies can use their C1 technology. So they're spreading the love. Yeah, exactly. Okay. It's a great way to speed up innovation in a bunch of different areas. What else are they doing? They're also looking at portfolio licensing. Okay, what's that? That's where they give other companies access to certain proteins or products that they've developed. So it's more specific. Right, it lets them work with companies that are focused on certain applications. So they can make sure their technology is being used for things that they believe in. Exactly. And then of course, there's also direct product sales. Okay, like what? Well, like that recombinant human albumin we talked about. Mm -hmm. They can sell that directly to people who need it. So they have control over how it gets used. Yeah, and to make sure their products are actually getting to the people who will benefit from them. That's really smart. They've got all their bases covered. They do. It's a really diverse and sustainable business model. So for our listeners out there, why should they care about all of this? What makes dyadics work so important? Well, I think... Anyone who cares about the future of medicine should be paying attention. Yeah. Or anyone who's interested in sustainable food production. Definitely. Or just like cutting edge science in general. True, true. Dyadic is at the forefront of all of that. They're doing things that could really change the world. 
And what I think is really cool is their commitment to making things affordable. Oh, yeah. They're not just trying to make money. They want to make these treatments available to everyone who needs them. That's right. It's not just about profits for them. Mm. It's about making a difference. They really believe in that proteins for world health idea. Yeah, they're really putting their money where their mouth is. It's inspiring to see a company that's doing well and doing good at the same time. So we've talked about a lot today. We have. From their C1 platform to vaccines, alternative proteins, even proteases. That's a lot to take in. It is. But one thing I want to circle back to is their work on mRNA enzyme technology. Oh, yeah. That's some exciting stuff. They're really getting into the world of DNA and RNA. They are. And that's where a lot of the action is these days. Yeah. mRNA technology is huge right now. It is. It's being used for everything from making vaccines to personalized medicine. And Dyadic wants to be a leader in that field. Exactly. They're building the tools we're going to need for the next generation of medical treatments. And it's not just mRNA. Well, Their work on cell culture media products is also really interesting. It is. They're shaking things up in a market that's been relying on animal products for a long time. And they're doing it in a way that's more sustainable and affordable. Exactly. Yeah. They're using their knowledge of yeast fermentation to create a better alternative. It's a brilliant example of using what you know to solve new problems. Mm -hmm. And it's not just about saving money. Right. It's also about reducing the risk of contamination uh -huh. and making sure the products are consistently high quality, which is super important for cell culture stuff. And that's where their partnership with ProLand Health comes in, right? Exactly. They're working together to bring recombinant human albumin to the market. Specifically for cell culture media. Yep. It's a great example of how these partnerships can really push things forward. By combining their expertise, they can get this product out there to more people. Right. It's a win-win for both companies and for science and medicine as a whole. But let's not forget about their work with alternative proteins. Oh, yeah. That's a big one, too. They're already making key proteins like bovine albumin and transferrin uh -huh. for the cell culture media that's used to make lab-grown meat. That's right. This is a huge step towards making cultivated meat a reality. Imagine a world where we can eat meat without all the environmental and ethical problems of factory farming. It's a game changer, and Dyadic's technology is making it possible. So what do you think is the most impressive thing about Dyadic's approach to all of this? I'd say it's their focus on diversifying their revenue streams. What do you mean? They're not putting all their eggs in one basket, you know? Right. They're exploring a ton of different ways to use their technology. Smart. Yeah. It's a really smart way to manage risk and set themselves up for long-term growth. It's like they're building a really solid foundation for a sustainable and impactful business. Exactly. They're thinking ahead and playing the long game. So what does all this mean for our listeners? Why should they care about Dyadic? I think Dyadic's story shows how powerful science can be. Uh -huh. They're using their innovations to make the world a better place. It's not just about making money for them. It's about improving global health and well-being. Exactly. It's really refreshing to see a company like that. You know? I agree. It gives you hope for the future. It does. So yeah, if you're interested in science, technology, or just making the world a better place, Dyadic is a company to watch. We've covered a lot of ground today. <laughs> Anything else you want to add before we move on? I think Dyadic is a great example of how biotechnology can solve some of the biggest problems we face. I agree. It's a reminder that we live in a time of incredible scientific progress. And companies like Dyadic are leading the way. Exactly. So what's the one big takeaway you want to leave our listeners with? I want them to remember that Dyadic is a company with a vision. Yeah. They're pushing the boundaries of what's possible with protein science. Uh-huh. And their work could have a huge impact on all our lives. So keep an eye on Dyadic. If you're curious about the future of medicine sustainable food or just the power of innovation, Dyadic is a company to watch. Absolutely. Their website is a great place to learn more about them. Yeah, they have a ton of information about their technology and their vision for the future. Okay, so let's move on to our final thoughts for this deep dive. All right. What's one question or idea you want to leave our listeners thinking about? Well, given everything we've talked about with Dyadic's technology, I think it's really interesting to think about what this means for personalized medicine and sustainable food production. Hmm. Could we see a future where treatments are tailored to each person's DNA? Wow. Or where we can enjoy meat without harming animals or the planet? 
Those are big questions. They are. But with companies like Dyadic out there, those questions are starting to feel less like science fiction and more like a real possibility. It's an exciting time to be alive. It really is. And it shows how important it is to support companies that are using their innovations to make the world a better place. Well said. So on that note, let's wrap up this deep dive into Dyadic International. Thanks for joining us on this journey. It's been a pleasure exploring their work with you. And as always, keep those brains buzzing. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. really is amazing to think about all the things they could do. I, I know what gets me is how they're taking this super advanced science and actually using it, you yeah. know? Like it's one thing to do cool experiments in the lab, yeah. but it's a whole other thing to turn that into products that actually help people. Totally. Mm. And that's what makes dyadic different. Yeah. They're not just about the science. They really want to make a difference in the world. Right. Like with global health and making things more sustainable. Exactly. That whole proteins for world health thing, it's not just a slogan for them. They actually live by it. And that's what makes them so interesting. I agree. It's inspiring to see a company that's not just making discoveries. Yeah. But actually using those discoveries to solve problems. Right, like real world problems that affect everyone. Exactly. So as we wrap up this deep dive on dyadic, okay. what's the one big takeaway you want our listeners to remember? Hmm. I think it's simple. Keep an eye on dyadic. Okay. They're doing amazing things in biotech yeah. and they have this awesome technology, a smart business plan, and they really believe in what they're doing. That's a powerful combination. It is. So if you're interested in how biotech can change the world, yeah. <laughs> dyadic is definitely a company to watch. I couldn't agree more. And if you want to learn more about them, yeah. Their website is the best place to start. Totally. They have a ton of info about their tech, their products, their whole vision for the future. All right. Well, that's about it for our deep dive into Dyadic International. It's been fun. It has. Thanks for joining us on this journey into the world of proteins and biotech. Always a pleasure. And until next time, keep exploring and keep those brains buzzing. Do you want a deep dive podcast like this? Contact Bull Run by Charlie Devanzo.